Destiny Johnson Bird was booked into the Baldwin County Jail this week. The death of her husband, 41-year-old Grover Richard Bird of Mount Vernon, shook up residents of the One Club community back in April. At the time, Gulf Shores police said Bird was a guest at a short-term rental there. Investigators say they initially responded to assist with a medical call on a Thursday night. It quickly turned into a death investigation, which went on for weeks. There were a lot of people involved in this case. There were a lot of people on scene. Um, probably more witnesses interviewed than you know your average case for sure. Um, those people had left the area. They had to be tracked down, and it took uh, it took a while. 38-year-old Destiny Bird was one of those questioned. Once the investigation was finished, the department opted to turn the case over to the grand jury for review rather than charge Bird. These cases they just evolve into a point where you just really want to get like a fresh set of eyes on it and um, you know really more often than people probably think we like to take a case to the grand jury. Because little information was released at the time of the investigation it caused concern around the one club community but police say this was an isolated incident between family members. It had nothing to do with one club you know whatsoever and it um, it was clear to us it was going to take some time to uh, to you know investigate this case so you know it's just it's unfortunate, you know, we just can't really, you know, lay the cards out on the table. Investigators still aren't going into a lot of detail about Grover Bird's death, only saying that he was stabbed. Destiny Bird is being held in the Baldwin County Jail on a $250,000 bond. Reporting live in Gulf Shores, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.